Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Julie, um, I'm, you can call me Jules. This is my first YouTube video, so um, I just wanted to, I, I've been feeling the urge to come on and start a channel for probably a year now. Um, I've been on a journey probably four years ago, I started to get really excited about makeup and I started to watch YouTube and it was just mind blowing all, all of the stuff that was out there and I learned so much so very quickly. Um, I think I went and sat on a Bobby Brown chair once and they gave me a free, free, uh, you know, come and I'll do your makeup and you can spend hundreds of pounds and then go away and really fail at doing it yourself. So yeah, YouTube has been fantastic. And I, I basically wanted to, to share my journey with some of you. Um, I've been inspired by so many people on here. Um, I'm over 50, I'm overweight, um, I'm covered in wrinkles, um, I'm unconventional, I've got the hoodiest, hoodiest eyes, you'll see in a minute, the hoodiest eyes on the planet, I guarantee it. Um, my eyes are tiny, they're really small, they're deep set, I wasn't dealt the best hand, um, and my eyebrows are pretty much non-existent. Um, you will see that <laughs> in a minute. Anyway, um, you know, it's, that's a whole different story. Um, I'm just living my best life and really, really enjoying it. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. And, I'm, and I hope um, that some of you will get something out of this video. Um, if not, you'll just get to, to laugh at me and my funny ways. Um, I just enjoy playing with makeup and that's all this channel is ever going to be. If someone learns something, that's, that's brilliant. Um, today, I'm going to show you how I do a smoky eye for someone with, I'm going to say, advanced, extreme, hardcore hooded eyes. Um, so that we, we are faced with so many challenges on a daily basis and I want to share how I do it. It's probably not, not how anyone else does it, I don't know, but it's how I do it and it works for me. Um, so, you know, I, they, they wake up in the morning and they say, right, okay, remember, I, you are, you've got hooded eyes, Julie, go and do your makeup. So every morning I, I try different colours, I try different um, different ways. So anyway, without further ado, um, I am going to let you watch my video. Um, any feedback, any comments down below would be greatly appreciated. And um, let's start, shall we? So I've done my face makeup and I've done one of my eyes. Um, as you can see, I haven't done one of my eyebrows because I wanted to show you um, the difference it made. I'm going to zoom in to show you how much it lifts up your face, the side of my face. So obviously this is my um, eyebrow that's done and this is the eyebrow that isn't done that's massively plucked, hardly in existence, but it's fighting its own corner. So. That's what that's my canvas. This is what I have to play with today, and I'm going to show you how I transform this to this. Let's go. Okay, so I've penciled in my eyebrow now, and as you can see, it's lifted. What I want to do now is I actually want to show you just how hooded the eyelids are. I'm going to use something to point them out, find something sharp. Not very sharp. Okay, let me zoom you in. Okay, so, as you can see, my eyelid has so much skin on it. It's just a joke. There's, there's literally so much skin kicking around. And I also have a lot of lid space. Some say that's good, some say that's bad. I guess it gives me a bit more space to play with. But you can see um, my eyelid comes down here, all the way down to here. So I can't wear eyeliner. I went to Sephora once in America and uh, said to the girl, can I use eyeliner? I've got hooded eyes. And she said, yeah, absolutely. So she tried to draw them on and it looked awful. So no, <laughs> it's not gonna work. Uh, so I have to work around it. So yes. Um, I've got extra skin, wrinkly, you can see how much there is there. I haven't got a smooth canvas at all. So I have to combat this um, every day. If I, if I open my eye and look at the camera, you can actually see that it goes all the way down there. So I have to, that's the space I have to work with. So um, 
I'm going to show you what I do to combat that. Uh, first of all, I use a, a black Kajel stick inside uh, on my water line and my outer, my upper water line. Um, highly controversial, a lot of people say it makes your eyes look smaller. Well, I don't think my eyes could look any smaller if I tried. <laughs> so um, I think it works for me. Um, it may just be my perception, but I think it works for me. So I will just put this in my eye. If you're squeamish, look away. Now I tend to, oh, sorry. Um, I tend to overdraw it. So it just comes down a little bit underneath my eyes and I'm going to lift up this and I tight line in here as well which some would say gives the illusion of having eyeliner on um, once I've done that I smudge it I smudge it in to get rid of any gaps in the lash line because that really gives a, a seamless and I do it on the top as well gives a seamless kind of cover really there we go now obviously it's not the finished thing but you can see the effect it has I think it makes my eyes look a little bit bigger again that's just my perception um, I'm going to prime with uh, Urban Decay Primer Potion Original Now, as Robert Welsh would say, you can't use concealer on your eyelids. Um, I always use this. Uh, I think it's a godsend. I absolutely love it. So that's it. So uh, once that is on, I immediately go in with just some translucent powder. Um, I've got the Maybelline Fit Me from America from four or five years ago, and it's running out. And I gave some to my best friend, Ellie. You're going to have to give that back to me at some point, I think, my love. <laughs> anyway, so, pat that in. So now I've pretty much got a blank canvas. As you can see, just a, a wrinkly old eyelid. So, um, I'm now going to put, because um, some, uh, some of the eyeshadows that I'm going to use have a, quite a bit of fallout, so I'm going to... Just put some loose powder underneath my eye to catch it all and then afterwards we'll just dust it all away. Obviously I'm not baking because I've got too many wrinkles to bake. I just wanted to mention also that my eyebrows, when I look in the mirror and I do them, they look absolutely perfect. Like so symmetrical it's ridiculous. The minute I walk away from my desk they look like one's up here and one's down there. You know, that's the story of my life. Anyway, that's fine. So. Now I'm going to, um, I'm going to now try and create uh, the illusion of depth, which will give me a crease um, or a socket. I think we're going to call it a crease. I'm not entirely sure and I don't really care. I'm, I'm just going to show you what I do. Um, I'm going to quickly show you my makeup palette. It's highly embarrassing and filthy dirty. Um, I've got a lot of the, you know, the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones and that kind of thing. Um, but I... Yeah. I kind of made my own out of Makeup Geek and a couple of other ones as well. This this is my everyday go-to palette creation, whatever it is. Um, and I, you know, I try to use other ones, but this this one is the one I go to on a regular basis. So, Makeup Geek Creme Brulee. I'm going to put this all over my eyelid. Now, on the first transition shade, I can do windscreen wiper motions, no problem at all. The top of my eyelid, the skin, doesn't necessarily move around very much. That will change as we get deeper. A little bit more. So I'm going all over, right into the bridge, or towards the bridge of my nose and out, which looks like a ridiculous amount. I'm, I am going quite high. Some of that will blend away later and some of it we'll have to put back. But at the moment, um, I'm literally covering all of the area that you can see. Obviously at the moment you can't see a crease because it's not there yet. After that, um, I'm just going to blend the top. It's just We're going to blend, 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 blend my best friend. And then I'm going to go in with this one. So this was a... Um, 
This is a Morphe G12. Um, as you'll see, sorry, it's rounded, it's really fluffy. I think a lot of people say when you've got um, a large, you know, hooded eyes or a large area you possibly shouldn't use a big brush like this but I find for putting down my transition shade it's absolutely fantastic it's a godsend and this one I, don't, I have no idea where I got it from this is an elf 205 brush this tends to be my second color it's kind of like a triangle on the end again it's quite loose excuse the dogs excuse the dogs there must be a leaf in the garden or something. So I'm now going to use uh, MAC Swiss Chocolate. Uh, this was recommended to me by Brianna Fox. Thank you very much, Brianna Fox. I love this shade. So I'm going to go lower this time than I did with the last shade. And I'm just going to copy the same kind of thing. Now, what you will notice with me, I am not now go going to do the windscreen wiper, windshield wiper, um, because the further I get down my eye, where all the wrinkles and the flappy skin is, the worse it gets. I cannot start to move the brush around too much. So you'll see me use, my hand is uh, f further back on the brush so I get less pressure, but I'm tapping. Because if I go like this, and you'll see, if I go like this, all I'm doing is moving my skin, which is, I don't want to move my skin. I need to spread the eyeshadow around. So I have developed a knack. I might paint it actually, tap the eyeshadow. So I'm tapping in the eyeshadow. I'm going to go back in for a second swoop. And as you see, I'm not going any further. I'm trying, because this droops down, I'm trying to keep the shadow higher and in a line from my eyebrow to the corner of my eye, as you can see where the hood is. So I'm trying to keep it above that to create an uplifting look. Because if I did my eyeshadow all the way down here, it would just drag my eye down. I will do that in a future video because I can't wait to show everyone how I used to do my makeup before I watched YouTube. So that's done, pretty much. We probably will have to come back with some more of that, but you're starting to see a picture of um, how how you know we, we go from one colour to another. So we're going to go darker again, and I'm going to use um, a Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease Brush. Now this brush, I absolutely love. Now I'm re uh, I am really sorry. My brushes are filthy dirty um i'm a dirty dirty girl <laughs> so i am really sorry but um you know you just got one life you know i don't want to spend my time cleaning brushes so i'm going to use now uh, some makeup geek bitten which is a red red color perhaps i should show you uh this is makeup geek bitten be surprised when i got this i didn't think i was going to use it very much another brianna fox recommendation but it's really, really good. And you can see now that there's some dropping onto my cheek, which we'll get rid of later, which is fine. Again, I'm tapping. Again, I don't want to go like this because all I'm gonna do is move my skin. So tap, tap, tap. Now, I, I've i watched many um, videos. Um, Nisha um, from Sugar Pluff and F Sugar Pluff. Sugar Puff and Fluff. She's a lovely lady and she's got hooded eyes. Um, she has got less of a hood than I have, so she's able to have a lighter colour here. I have to bring my darker colour halfway across my eye because my biggest hooded area is just here, right in the middle of my eye. I hope that looked like it in the middle of my eye. I've got no, you know, I can't see anything properly. Anyway, so I'm going to go a little bit further across than, um, than Nisha would because I think it opens up my eye. So if you see, I'm going halfway up my eye, halfway in between the start and the finish. I'm not explaining this very well, am I? Okay, we're gonna blend. Uh, this is a Sigma E40. So this is a, just a really, really, come on. There you go. It's a really, really fluffy, just a little bit domed brush. And we're just literally gonna Go along the sides as well. Can you see? 
getting a bit darker now. Um, and I'm now going to go into the last colour. This is Americano by Makeup Geek um, Hit Pan. This is my third one. So it's like an aubergine colour. It's, it's, it's really stunning actually. It's one of my favourite colours. I've got three backups in my drawer. So I'm going to do this one. Now there's... I'll tap this one off because there is a lot of fallout for this colour. But I can't find anything that comes close to it. It's brilliant. So again, I'm going to go, as Nisha would say, the outer, she does a seven. I can't do that. I'm literally probably doing a circle the size of a, probably a 10 pence piece, I would say, um, that incorporates just this whole area here. Um, the best way I can explain it is I'm just creating something here, but it has to be darker towards the middle of my eye. And I will bring the last shade in a little bit further towards the towards the inner part of my eye, just to to make sure that I'm not I've got a light bit here which will emphasise the hood even more. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to blend that again. I'm going to take a little bit of Nars Coconut Grove. It's a very very dark brown. And I've hit pan three places on this one. I've had it for about four, four or five years. And I'm just going to simply place that along, just to emphasise what I've got already, along the bottom of my lash line. Um, and this will create as much lift as I can. Now, I'm trying to match the other eye. Excuse my top. So, yeah, I've, I'm just um, lifting this up and I'm getting higher this circle here and as if you can see I still have a little bit here that's lighter excuse me yeah, so we've created um, a circle and I've gone in further on this side the, towards the inner part of my eye avoiding the outer part of my eye because again as I said I don't want it to drag down I'm going to blend that again all the time I'm looking at my other eye to try and make sure that it matches and obviously no one's face is symmetrical mine's completely wonky one way or the other I don't know which way um, my lips are all wonky Every, you know no one's perfect are they so I'm working with what, what I've got at the moment so essentially I'm, I've created a bit of depth um, now because obviously there's a lot of skin on my eyelids there are certain areas that don't necessarily take the shadow or they don't you can't see how it looks um, on camera it's there are patches on my eyes that I, I you just I just can't seem to get right if anyone's got any tips that would be fantastic but we kind of are where we are so that's all blended um, I'm just going to take a Q-tip and clean because I do get quite a little bit of um, the Kajel goes in. I get a very watery inner eye when I put my makeup in in the morning. Um, it can be quite bad. So we're going to we're now going to create the same kind of um, we're going to create the same colours underneath the eye. I personally think that it's really important to have. Um, the same colours underneath and quite a lot of eyeshadow underneath it seems to work for, for me again this is you know this is a smoky eye look this is a, a going out look um, I will do an everyday look I guess um, I probably wear too much makeup <laughs> my sister tells me that I look, I look like a drag queen sometimes no offence to the drag queens um, but I in creating my crease I tend to get darker and darker and darker and end up every morning looking like I'm going to a nightclub what's wrong with that Right, okay, so Coconut Grove on the, this is a Real Techniques, no idea, tiny little, oops, sorry, tiny little thing, it's, um, it's wonderful for smudging and, and all of that kind of stuff. So, going along the lash line, another dip in the Coconut Grove. And then I'm going to use this is this is a tiny little brush that I got from Superdrug in, in a little set. Um, there was a bigger one as well. It's fantastic. It's done quite a lot for me. So I'm going in with the bitten. I'm kind of, kind of doing it backwards. So the bitten. 
and when you get to the outer bit, be very careful that you don't pull the edges down. Uh, oh, I've missed one out. Americano, Americano. Tap that because it's very, very fully outy. And then I'm going to go in the last one. with the um, Makeup Geek Creme Brulee, which was the first one we used as a transition shade. So essentially it's blending everything in. Now, I'm just having a look to see if I need to make any adjustments. I find it very difficult to tell at this stage how it's gonna go. Um, normally I do both my eyes at the same time but for, for this video I've, I've just done one so for me they look like they match they may not when I put my um, mascara and lashes on but what I need to do is I'm going to highlight my brow bone this um, I found is really really good uh, it's just a, I've got a light color here it's a Viseo one but you can use any like a cream cream color and I'm literally I just follow my the bottom of my lash line all the way along and I think it lifts the eye quite a lot. Smudge your brush, smudge along. Okay, so I'm, I'm happy with that at the moment. I think that's fine. So I'm gonna do my mascara and I'm gonna put my lashes on um, and I'm gonna come back. Oh, actually, no. For those of you who like um, a shy, I'm gonna highlight a little bit of shimmer, MAC Nylon. Um, just at the point where your brow bone meets your eyelashes, just on that f tiny bit there, and I'm going to do a little bit in my into my inner eye. Now I'm not very good at that, you know. I, my eyes are really deep set, so it's not, you know, it, it's difficult. And sometimes I can put, I'll put a shimmer eyeshadow in um, on the front part, of the inner eye in there um i just I, I typically use just a lot of, of matte eyeshadows i find them much easier to work with um, and they don't attract light so that's where we are i'm going to brush off all the fallout as you'll see it all just completely disappears and i'm going to go away and put on my magic wand i'm going to i'm just going to see that so i'm going to put on my um, my mascara and my lashes and I will come back but so you can see so far now um, I would say hooded eyes lashes are your friend um, I've worn I went through stages of having um, lashes you know um, false lashes lash extensions and uh, I've got very 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 fine hair and it damaged them quite a lot after three or four years of having them when I took them off eventually, I didn't have hardly any eyelashes left. Um, so I started to wear strip lashes. Um, I think they uplift your eyes enormously. And I think you can probably tell now, um, well, you can see what my, one of my eyes looks like with a lash and without a lash. Um, I use the Ardell, is that focusing? The 811s, they are um, quite a, well, the foam ink ones, but they, they really uplift the eye. They, they fan out, they're smaller in the middle. I have to cut half of them. I had to cut it in half basically because my eyes are so small. I'm surprised you can even see them. So yes, yeah, so that's, that's the thing. So I'm gonna go away and do that and I'll be back in a minute. So I'm back. I just wanted to show you, um, so I've now put mascara on. Um, my eyelashes are, you know, I wasn't lucky. <laughs> With, with you know any of that stuff so my uh, eyelashes are really really like spiky and pooey and rubbish so again but I still wanted to show you the stage um, I also wanted to um, explain about um, when I do my makeup I try to look a little bit down into the mirror because when I look like that you will see the crease much better than when I go like that. So I could spend ages and ages putting eyeshadow onto my eyelid, stretching my eyes like this and think, oh yeah, that looks fantastic. When you look back into the mirror, and I'll do this in another video, when you look back into the mirror, um, on an, like you would in, in everyday life when you're walking around or it's sat at your desk, you can't see all of the work that you've done because you've stretched your eyes so much, it's not a true representation of what you are left with. So. 
I'll do that in another video. I'm now going to put my lashes on. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back. This is the finished eye look. This would be my my um, my going out. Um, I want to look pretty look. Um, maybe too dark for some people on an everyday basis, but this is how I like it. Um, some things to note, basically. Um, I would say that I would sit and do my makeup in the morning and I would get to work and after two or three hours, my eyes are even more hoodier than they were when I woke up. Um, my eyes tend to droop even more a, a few hours after I wake up. So sometimes I find myself putting a higher, darker colour um, in my crease just to compensate for that because it, my eyes will look very different at lunchtime than they did when I left them in the morning. Sometimes um, if I'm going out, I'll come back and I'll top up, I'll show you, I will top up this area here just so I can, you know, you can see that behind my lashes. The lashes do give the eyes quite a lift, um, but there needs to be some colour underneath it. So that's that's pretty much it. That's my technique. That's how I do my eyes. Now, everyone's completely different. Um, the reason I wanted to do this is because I really struggled to find anyone on YouTube that had eyes anything like mine. You know, I would find someone with hooded eyes and they had very little eye space, um, the, the lid space in between their eyebrow and their eye. Some people had... Um, what well, I wouldn't consider hooded eyes, but you know, it is, it is, if there's a hood, then it, there's a hood, it is what it is. But mine are so bad, so incredibly difficult to work with. I wanted to just basically share what I've learned. You know, I've had to, I've taken tips and trips from all of these people and it's all been fantastic and my learning curve has been so enjoyable. You know, I've spent so much money on makeup. But regardless of that, um, I wanted to just share how I do it. You know, there may be some people out there, they've got hooded eyes, um, similar to mine and I really really hope that something that you'll be able to take something out of this and think okay that's great I can I can try that now I'd love to see comments down below let, let me know what you thought this is my first video so um, it you know it's very difficult I've had to change all, all the whole setup here so I'm, I'm literally like a rabbit in the headlights but I have enjoyed it um, I, you know, I take my inspiration from a lot of YouTubers and I, and I will link some people down below. Robert Welsh has come along, he's fantastic. Um, Raw Beauty Christie, I was with, I started to follow her when she was on 30,000 followers and now she's just reached a million. Just had a baby, um, so congratulations Christy and Zach on your baby elder. Um, she's just a scream, you know, her personality is fantastic. Um, Angie from Hot and Flashy, uh, she's done lots of videos. Um, for, for mature makeup and um, she's brilliant to watch I love her she's great um, like I said um, Michelle Wang Mel Thompson all of those people have really inspired me to not just sit and play with one thing and I now know um, when I was you know 20 and 30 and I was trying to do a green eyeshadow looks why they didn't look like the people on the telly well you know I hadn't even realized about transition shades and stuff like that so I'm by no means an expert, but I've had a lot of practice of trying to perfect the hooded eye. So thank you very much. Um, if you'd like to see some more of me, perhaps you'd consider subscribing. And if you like my, give my video a thumbs up. <laughs> my boyfriend will laugh at this. If you give my video a thumbs up, that would be great. Um, I know if you're on a mobile or an iPad, Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't really give you the opportunity to like the video while you're watching it. So um, I'll give you like 10 seconds. Go away, reduce the screen, like it, and then come back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah, so share if you share my videos. Um, I really like some feedback from you guys, if, if possible. Um, thank you very much for joining me. And I hope to see you again. Mwah. Thank you.
what we're going to do is show you what we're putting in it. <laughs> No. Sorry. No, I don't. Uh, I'm going to do my eyebrows. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my eyebrows. So, stop that.